A deep, chesty ball echoes from rimrock to rimrock, rolls down the mountain, and fades into the far blackness of the night. It is an outburst of wild, defiant sorrow, and of contempt for all the adversities of the world. Every living thing, and perhaps many a dead one as well, pays heed to that call. To the deer, it is a reminder of the way of all flesh, to the pine, a forecast of midnight scuffles and of blood upon the snow, to the coyote, a promise of gleanings to come, to the cowman, a threat of red ink at the bank, to the hunter, a challenge of fang against bullet. Yet behind these obvious and immediate hopes and fears, there lies a deeper meaning, and only to the mountain itself. Only the mountain has lived long enough to listen objectively to the howl of the howl. Those unable to decipher the hidden meaning know nevertheless that it is there, for it is felt in all wolf country, and distinguishes that country from all other land. It tingles in the spine of all who hear wolves by night, or who scan their tracks by day. Even without sight or sound of wolf, it is implicit in a hundred small events. The midnight whinny of a pack horse, the rattle of rolling rocks, the bound of a fleeing deer, the way shadows lie in the spruces. Only the ineducable tyro can fail to sense the presence or absence of or the fact that mountains have a secret of happiness. My own conviction on this score dates from the day I saw it and died. We were eating lunch in a high room, at the foot of which a totem weird crowd of winter. We saw what we thought was a dove for the torrent. Her breasts awash in white water. She climbed the bank towards us and shot out her tail.
We all strive for safety, prosperity, comfort, long life, long life. The deer strives with his supple legs. Cowman with trap and poison. Statesman with pen. The most of us with machines, with boats, with dollars. But it all comes to the same thing. But it all comes to the peace in our town. A measure of success in this is all well enough. Perhaps it's the requisite to the general safety. But too much safety seems to yield a much danger in the long run. Perhaps this is behind the rose tinted room. And wildness is the salvation of the world. Perhaps this is the hidden meaning of the howl of the world. Long known among thousands, but seldom perceived among many.